channel. This is my 17 week pregnancy update and before I start with this video I am using some lights right now because it is in the evening so if the lighting situation is a little off in this video I apologize. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad but just bear with me. Okay, as far as symptoms, there's not much that I can really update you guys on just because my symptoms haven't really changed. I'm still throwing up, but you know, I've been thinking about it and really I shouldn't complain about it too much because it has gotten better. I mean, yeah, I'm still throwing up, but you know, when I think about it in the beginning, I was throwing up five times every single day and that's kind of a lot. And now it's back to just being once a day. I mean, it has gotten better, but... <sighs> It's still exhausting, you know, just because it's not just... And I was thinking about that the other day. If it was just throwing up once a day, that wouldn't even bother me as much. But the constant nausea is what really just wears me out and just makes me so exhausted. Just because it's like I cannot catch a break, you know. But we'll see. Maybe I'm going to be able to make one of those weekly updates and finally tell you guys that my morning sickness has gone away. I have no idea if I'll be able to do that, but maybe, so we will see in the future, I guess. Um, yeah, so like I said, there's not much to update you guys on as far as my symptoms go. The only thing that has changed is that I have experienced a little bit of like a lower back pain. It's more like a, like not like severe pain, more like a little achy feeling in the lower, um, lower back area. Kind of like period cramp pain. Because uh, I would always get period cramps uh, in my lower back and not in my stomach. But who knows, I guess it's just um, one of the side effects of my growing belly, you know. And yeah, but like I said, nothing too painful or too bad or, you know, it's not like I'm worried about it. Um, so that's that. One thing though... <laughs> that I have noticed is I can no longer tolerate the smell of my dog. As you guys might know, I have a one-year-old chihuahua. Um, his name is Finn. But uh, I can no longer tolerate his scent. And it's not even that he stinks. Like, I give him baths. Um, it's just like his own scent, like the dog odor that I can no longer tolerate. And I feel so bad for, you know, not really giving him that much attention anymore or just kind of um, pushing him back when he wants to cuddle with me. It's just, I really can't smell it anymore. Um, he used to sleep in my bed and now he sleeps in my parents' bedroom just because I can no longer have him near me. And it like almost breaks my heart because he loves me and I love him and, you know, he doesn't understand it obviously because he's a dog. He doesn't understand when I tell him, you know, it's nothing that you do, basically, I'm just pregnant, I can no longer smell you because my senses and smell is heightened. He, he doesn't understand that, so it makes me feel sad because he probably thinks that I no longer like him, um, which really isn't the case, it's just I gag whenever I smell him. I don't know what to do about it. My mom even started talking about getting rid of him and I was like, no mom, it's not that severe, like, I'm not, I'm not getting rid of him, like, he's my life, but it just kind of sucks, you know, because he really doesn't understand it, and I'm not really giving him that much attention anymore, like, we don't really cuddle that much, and I don't really, like I said, have him in my bed anymore, but I just, I can't, so that's a little sad. But I'm hoping that after I have a baby, it's not going to be an issue anymore. So, we will have to see, I guess. So another thing is that my pregnancy cravings have officially kicked in. I might be a little late on this. I have no idea when it like usually starts or when it starts for other women. But for me, it's it has started. And the number one thing that I'm craving is green olives. I am totally obsessed with green olives now. I've always liked olives to be honest, um, but now that I'm pregnant I really crave them and I cannot go a day without eating them and I will eat them for lunch and for dinner so I've already gone through an entire jar of green olives just in two days and in total I have gone through three jars of green olives. 
um, in a week. Might be a little much, but um, I just, I can't help it. I'm craving green olives. I don't want the black ones, I just want the green ones. And I'm just like obsessed with them. They're my new obsession. I cannot live without green olives right now. <laughs> Call me crazy, but that's just what's going on with my cravings, I guess. I don't know. So I guess another thing that I could tell you is that I recently bought one of those um, pregnancy belly button rings. Just because my belly, I mean, it's not that big yet, I feel like, but it is starting to stretch out and I don't want to risk my belly button piercing ripping out because I didn't, like, change it or anything or there wasn't, like, enough room for it to, like, grow or expand or whatever. So that's why I just got one of these um, longer ones and they're, like, um, a flexible material so they're not, like, metal or steel or whatever. Um... So I'm going to probably change it sometime this week or maybe next week, I don't know. Maybe even today, who knows, but I'm going to switch it out soon to this belly ring. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I have one more thing to update you guys on. And that is the most exciting thing I want to say about this video. So I kind of saved the best for last. <laughs> You guys, I have felt baby move for the first time ever. It just made me so happy and excited. Um, to be honest, at first it kind of almost freaked me out a little just because it was new and you know obviously this is my first pregnancy so I've never experienced the whole pregnancy thing before so I didn't even know at first that it was the baby. I just felt it and I was like, oh well, that was weird. Maybe that was baby. And then I like looked it up on Google, you know, and... It said, yeah, that probably was your baby. Um, so really, really exciting. Uh, I did tell my mom, and she told me that for her, um, when I moved, it felt like someone was tickling her on the inside of her tummy. But, you know, for me, it felt nothing like that. Now, I don't know what it would feel like if someone tickles you on the inside of your belly, because no one has ever tickled me on the inside of my belly. Uh, <laughs> That would be really strange. But um, for me, it felt more like a moving bubble. Now, I know this makes no sense, um, but it was like a bubbly feeling. Um, not really like gas, but like just, uh, I don't know, a moving bubble. I really, I, I'm sorry, I just, I can't explain it any better for you guys. I'm still kind of trying to, um, you know, think of a way of how to really explain it for myself what it felt like because I I don't know but for now I'll just call it like a moving bubble feeling whatever that is <laughs> but I have no idea how to describe it basically so I'm sorry about that <laughs> but maybe if you have been pregnant before you might know what I'm talking about one last thing before I finish up this video I did finally post my gender reveal video so if you haven't seen it already I'm going to link it down below and then you can go check it out um so yeah i finally announced that i'm having a baby boy i'm so excited i couldn't be happier um i'm just really really excited to have a son and now that you guys know baby's gender i can finally start making baby hauls there's going to be lots and lots and lots of baby hauls in the future on my channel just because there's so many things that you need to buy for a new baby especially if it's your first and you're a new time mom um, babies kind of need a lot. Like, I didn't even know how much stuff a baby needs. <sighs> but anyway, um, so there's going to be hauls coming your way, so I'm excited. <laughs> baby clothes are so cute, honestly. I already bought a ton. Not a ton, but a little. And I'm going to show you soon. So anyway, I'm rambling. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys my belly now, but I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Oops. Wrong button. Alright, so this is my belly with my shirt on from the front and from the side. It's getting big, you guys. Getting big. And then with my shirt up. Look at that belly. <laughs> so 
So yeah, that was it for my 17 week pregnancy update. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone!